This right here is Dickie D's. This is the first Italian hot dog right here in North Newark. What is up everybody, welcome back to the video. Hope y'all have an amazing day as usual. If you're new, please make sure to like, subscribe, and always comment down below. Um, so in this video, we're gonna do a food review. We are at Dickie D's in North Newark. All right, this is the original Italian hot dog. Now, if you're not from, if you're not from New Jersey, you might not know what an Italian hot dog is. Well, it's a New Jersey staple, okay? It's, okay, so first thing you got right here is pizza bread. Pizza bread is like, oh, it's, it's like kind of like, I don't know how to describe it. It's just a soft, really nice piece of bread. You have a hot dog at the bottom, onions, peppers, fried potatoes, ketchup, and mustard. And this is the original right here in North Newark. So North Newark, years ago, I'm talking 40s, 50s, this used to be a big Italian neighborhood, Bloomfield Avenue. This used to be a majority Italian area. Today, <laughs> it used to be like 100% Italian. Today, it's about 100% Hispanic. It's changed a lot, you know? This is, there's only a few Italian restaurants left in North Newark, and this is one of them. Um, so, this is the hot dog. It's $6. It's, it's, it's not your typical hot dog, and I'm kind of a little skeptical because there's a, you have this tiny hot dog at the bottom and all this stuff. Like, how are you even supposed to eat it? But let's see. It's big. I'm going to go from the bottom. This is definitely going to be messy. These are the fried potatoes with ketchup. Mmm. Okay. They put too many potatoes on here. I'm gonna take some of them off. Just because it's too much. Alright. Give it a try. Mm. So it's very messy. Suggest you get a lot of napkins before you eat this. It's messy. Is it like I, I feel like I need a fork and a knife? So to me, it's more of a sandwich rather than a hot dog. Um, but the fried potatoes are very good. It's nice and light. The potatoes are nice and light. Only thing I wish is they, it's not, I wish they use Italian sausage in this, I really do. Mm. Like, see what I mean? It's more of a sandwich. I'm gonna put the potatoes in and just eat it like a sandwich. My hands are so messy right now. I don't like getting messy. All right. Mm. This is definitely something that'll fill you up. The potatoes really do add a nice touch. I was kind of skeptical about the potatoes, but no, the potatoes are the best part of this. I'm gonna roll it up now. Actually, no, I can't do that, it's too messy. Mm. This is actually very similar to a um, Italian sausage sandwich. Like, you know how you get those sweet sausage sandwiches with the peppers and onions? It's very similar to this. Mm. The bread alone is very good. Mm. I look so messy when I eat, like. 
Like, I feel like y'all don't want to see me being messy, but like, I don't really have a choice. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, I need a fork. At this point, it's just bread and onions. Um, yeah, I need a fork with this. Yeah, I wonder if they got, yeah, they got forks right there. I'm gonna go get a fork. I'll be right back. They have forks right next to the napkins. You're gonna need it. Like, you can't eat this with your hands. You gotta have a fork in here. So technically this is not the original Italian hot dog. Originally they opened up a, they, they first started off with a restaurant near here, but then they moved. So technically it's not, but it is. It's definitely the original. I like stuff like this because it never changes. When you come into an old school place like this, you know that it's not going to change. It's been like this for generations. And that's the cool thing about these places. I think people forget. Potatoes and hot dogs are very good together. Mm -hmm. Let me get some uh, onions and peppers in here. This is my first time having an Italian hot dog. Like I said, it just seems very similar. To me, it seems very similar to a um, Italian sausage sandwich. Just add some potatoes in there. What I find a little bit interesting about the sandwich is that they're not using Italian sausage and they use potatoes. I mean, I, I'm not complaining, but it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, to me, it's just, and the fact that they don't use buns. Like, if I was gonna, honestly, like if I was gonna create an Italian hot dog from scratch, my idea of it would be you have a bun, right? Maybe a, maybe a nice piece of Italian bread. Um, maybe putting some sweet sausage on there. Then, instead of ketchup, no ketchup, tomato sauce. <laughs> some fresh mutts, right? That's what this sandwich is missing, is some mutts. Like, that would be good. Mm. Again, for people who are not from New Jersey, Mutz is short for mozzarella. It's more of an American Italian way of saying it. Um, I probably have some subscribers from all over, so I don't want to have y'all be like confused. Like, what is fresh Mutz? Uh uh. So this is the original, right? They have other things on their menu. They're known for their cheesesteaks and their pizza as well. And everything here is reasonably priced. This sandwich was $6, which sounds like a lot for a hot dog, but you get so much. This is a full course meal right here. You can get a whole pizza for I think about 10 bucks. That's cheap for a slice of that's cheap for a whole pizza. I think the cheesesteak sandwich is like eight bucks, so it's not much. What I like is how old school it is. You know? This neighborhood, like I said, has changed a lot. And this is kind of an idea. When you come in here, you have an idea of what this place used to be like. I was never around to experience old school newer, you know? Overall, I would recommend this place, definitely. I'm gonna go outside so y'all can hear me a little better and I'll share my thoughts on everything. All right, so we're just chilling here in North Newark. So you're probably asking me, what are my thoughts on Dickie D's? I highly recommend. I give it a five out of five. Out of 10, maybe a 4.5. I would definitely give it a good rating. Definitely go to Dickie D's, get yourself an Italian hot dog. Now, I actually saw this on the sign right here. We're actually right by the uh, business. It says you can get Italian cheesesteaks and Italian hamburgers, too. So they have their own take on those things as well. 
And I think that's super cool. All right. If you do go to Dickie D's, definitely get yourself the Italian hot dog. Use a knife and a fork because it is just so messy. You need that. So now here's the thing, though. Here's the catch. I wouldn't consider Dickie D's to be an Italian restaurant. Now, hear me out. It is an American Italian restaurant because they have hot dogs, cheeseburgers, um, cheesesteaks. Those are all American, right? But they put an Italian take on it, which I think is super cool. So it's more of an American Italian restaurant. When you actually look at them on um, on Google, it is they do not classify themselves as an Italian restaurant. They actually classify themselves as a fast food restaurant. It's not a fast food restaurant, but I wouldn't. It's American Italian. There's, I don't think there's a category for American Italian, but it is American Italian. So highly recommend. But let me tell you all a little bit of history about this neighborhood. We are in an icon iconic neighborhood, North Newark, okay? around, Especially around Bloomfield Avenue. This neighborhood, back before the Newark riots, so we're talking 60s and before that, right? This neighborhood used to be about 100% Italian. This is where all the um, Italian American immigrants lived. Today, on the other hand, today you walk around here, you will not find one Italian. I don't think I've actually ever seen an Italian around here or too many white people other than myself. It's pretty much all Hispanic. Um, Newark's a great example of white flight, but because Bloomfield Ave was right here, now Bloomfield Ave is the main street in Essex County. If you wanna go anywhere in Essex County, you, you need to take Bloomfield Ave. You can go from the uh, from the end of the county to the other end. So it starts in Newark, goes to Fairfield. So they went, a lot of the Italian immigrants, as they became more successful, as they start opening businesses, and you know, they've always been very hardworking people. They eventually worked their way up and went to places like Verona, Cedar Grove, um, Caldwell, North Caldwell. That's actually where Tony Soprano's house is, at least in the, at least in the show. Uh, definitely watch The Sopranos. Um, yeah, they went to Fairfield. Fairfield's actually like 50% Italian, I think. So today there's not many left, but there still are a lot of Italian businesses here. For example, right behind me, this is Calandra's Bakery right here. Calandra's Bakery. This is actually the original, I think. They have another location in Caldwell. It's huge, they, and they have the best bread here. What's cool about Calandra's is, is how they actually have like their own it's huge. The bakery in, in Caldwell is huge. But this is the original. They have the best bread. Um, and they're still here in Newark. Um, there's also Belmont Tavern, which is also a very iconic lo uh, location as well. This is an Italian restaurant in North Newark. If you want a good fella, Sopranos type of experience, you go there. When you walk in, it's like you're walking into a scene of The Sopranos. It's so cool. Um, it's also home to the original Chicken Savoy. Chicken Savoy um it, some italian restaurants have it some don't but it's a um a chicken dish with garlic balsamic reduction and it's uh fried not fried it's uh just sauteed and it's really good um and there's also another italian restaurant around here called luigi's but luigi's um uh, i've never been there i don't know much i think it's just your typical american italian place like it's nothing special probably pretty good is my guess but What's so fascinating is today, the neighborhood has changed dramatically. Now you have South American restaurants everywhere. You have South, uh, you have Hispanic street vendors everywhere selling uh, Italian ice or water ice, whatever. You have plenty of, um, almost everything is written in Spanish over here. It's, it's very different from what it used to be like. And pretty much when the Hispanics moved in, that's when the Italians left. That also happened in uh, Spanish Harlem as well. Did you know Spanish Harlem used to be the original Little Italy? Yeah. Things have changed a lot. But that's gonna be for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out Dickie D's, and I'll see you all in the next video.